Today we're going to lead you through the installation and troubleshooting guide for parents and students from SuccessNet Plus. If you'll notice in the handout, there's a nice troubleshooting checklist that will lead you step by step through this process. Today I'm going to go step by step and for the sake of today's tutorial I will be using Internet Explorer. If you are using Safari, Please follow the instructions when you get to the sections that relate to the Safari browser with Mac operating system. As we scroll down through the parent checklist, I want to give you a few tips. First, I think you should print this out. It's very important you print it out and have access to it. As you're working, you're going, you don't want to flip back and forth between windows. Also, another suggestion, later in the parent troubleshooting guide, they're going to ask you to um, paste in or type in three websites or three domains. I have those listed here on the parent troubleshooting guide. One tip would be to open up a Word document, type those out so that you don't have to retype them every time and worry about them being correct. I'm going to adjust these real quick and have them ready to go for the troubleshooting guide. Now back to the guide. Some of the directions might vary slightly from computer to computer depending on your operating system and depending on your web browser, but I found working on different platforms that this seems to the directions are, are pretty good and they seem to work in most cases. The first thing on our troubleshooting checklist is does your computer meet the minimum system requirements? And then we have a browser tune-up that I'm going to lead you through and all of these things we're going to work on. So I'm going to start with the minimum system requirements. It says to navigate to this website, successnetplus.com. Scroll to the bottom of the page on the right hand side and click on system requirements. It should open up your browser. In the bottom right hand corner, it says System Requirements. Please verify that you have met these system requirements. And if not, we might have to install different, a different web browser to use the SuccessNet Plus. As I scroll down, it recommends that you do a browser tune-up. And again, it has a website for you to navigate to. And then it says, check your computer settings. After the analysis is complete, you will see something similar to the following. You'll have options or updates that will be needed so that your computer is tuned up, ready to use the SuccessNet Plus platform. I'm going to click on the tune up. you see these scripts are usually unsafe. If you're seeing those, these are addressed later in the tutorial. For the sake of today, I wanted those to be visible to you so you can see how we fix those. It says, remember, before you register, check your settings. Click on the Check Your Settings tab. And it will list all the things that you have to adjust for SuccessNet Plus to work. If you notice, most of the things on my computer are up to date. If they're not, you need to click on them and they'll lead you through the process of updating those things. The screen resolution on my computer is 1600 by 900. It says I must change that manually. There's an easy way to change that. I'm going to show you real quick. My computer, even though it is slightly different from what they recommend, still works just fine with SuccessNet Plus, so I'm not going to change too much. But if you need to change your screen resolution, on most computers, if you navigate to your desktop and right click on your desktop, usually you can get to the screen resolution right here and adjust those settings. Back at the tutorial, after you finished your browser tune up, make sure you address those things. We're going to get into setting up um, your Internet Explorer settings. Now, it has some students do use Firefox but for the sake of today's tutorial we're going to focus on Internet Explorer because we have proved we have tested and proven that it works when these 
updates have been uh, made to your computer. The first thing you want to do is set your browser to look for new web pages automatically. They lead you through a, step of a set of instructions here. Um, I'm going to minimize this as I work through these instructions. Remember, refer to your printed installation and troubleshooting guide to follow along. In Internet Explorer, I'm actually going to close these windows out so we have a fresh look here. Open up a new window. Again, it keeps asking about these scripts. Those will be addressed later in the tutorial. It's one of the things that Pearson addresses. In Internet Explorer, to set up your browser to look for new web pages automatically, you need to navigate to the Tools menu. In order to do that on my browser, I have a little wheel in the corner. It says Tools, or you can press the Alt plus X buttons. I click on the Tools tab. I go to Internet Options. Make sure that I'm on the General tab. I'm going to look at the Browsing History section. There are some settings here. I'm going to click on that. I want to select Automatically. It says, by default on my computer, check for newer versions of stored pages every time I start Internet Explorer. I want to make sure that says Automatically. Once you check Automatically, please select OK. And the, the troubleshooting guide says that um, you might have to delete the cache. Well, that's addressed later in this tutorial. The next step is the pop-up blockers. I'm going to select OK and go back to my Internet Explorer window. To allow pop-up blockers from specific sites, it says to go to the Tools option again. And the instructions may vary here. In my version, I have to go to Internet Options. I have to select the Privacy tab, and then I have to select, here it says Pop-Up Blocker, Turn on Pop-Up Blocker is checked, there's a Settings button, I need to click the Settings button. And within this it wants me to insert addresses or websites to allow. These are exceptions to the normal Pop-Up Blocker. This is important because Pearson SuccessNet, if you don't have these websites listed in the um, exceptions portion of this tutorial, then certain portions of the SuccessNet platform will not be allowed to uh, pop up on your computer. So we need to add those sites. Earlier, I put these sites and they're listed on the tutorial in Internet Explorer. I put them on um, Microsoft Word just for the sake of copying them. I'm going to go back into my Internet settings. I'm going to paste that website and add it. Go to the second site. I'm going to copy it and paste it. And then finally the third site. You could type these in. It just seems easier. Once I've added these three sites, I'm going to select Close and OK. I'm back at my Internet Explorer screen. Another thing that they suggest is disabling pop-up blockers for all sites. You can do Option 1 or Option 2. If you want to disable all pop-up blockers, that will work. The problem is there are many, many sites that use pop-ups that you might not want, so Step 1, Option 1 would be the best thing to do. The next step is to look for third-party pop-up blockers, things like Google, AOL, and Yahoo. If you've installed extra software on your computer, these add-on software, you might need to look at third-party pop-up blockers. The way to check for this is to go to your internet browser, click View, and select Toolbars. On my browser, I don't see a View option. If your browser up here, it might say File, View. If it has a View option, click on View, and then look at Toolbars. For the sake of this tutorial, in my screen, I'm going to select Alt plus View, the Alt key on the, or Alt plus V, the Alt key on the keyboard, 
and the V. Well, that brings up this toolbar, File, Edit, View. I'm going to click on Toolbars. Right between these links in Lock the Toolbars, if you have things installed such as Google, AOL, or Yahoo, those will be visible and they will have a check mark. You will need to uncheck those pop-up blockers. Uncheck each one that's listed there. If you see anything extra than this, please uncheck those things. Once you're finished, your computer most likely won't say scripts are running. We're going on to the next step, which is to enable Java. From the browser, click Tools and then select Internet Options. Back over here to this wheel, I click Tools. I go to Internet Options. Click the Security tab and the Custom level. Right here is my Security tab. The level. Right here, Custom level. And I need to navigate down to where it talks about scripting. And it says when you find the scripting section, under Active Scripting, click Enable. As I scroll down, it's near the bottom. Here it says Scripting, Active Scripting. It says Prompt. I need to choose Enable. Make sure this says Enable and click OK. Are you sure you want to change the settings for the zone? Say Yes. Click OK. And we're moving on to the next section. Clearing your cache after a platform update. Please go to the tool section one more time. Click Internet Options. On the General tab in the Browsing History section, here we are under General tab. Here's the browser Browsing History. We see Settings. We worked on that earlier. I'm going to say Delete. In Internet Explorer 9, you can check whichever ones you would like to delete. Some people like to preserve their favorite website data so that they can access uh, their favorite pages quickly. The one thing you need to make sure is, that is checked is the temporary Internet files. Make sure this is checked. Press Delete and select OK. This deletes the cache and helps to update your uh, platform. Please note that in the troubleshooting guide, there are options for, again, using Safari 5 with the Mac operating system, or Internet Explorer 9, Internet Explorer 8, Internet Explorer 7. And those were addressed when we, we talked about the minimum system requirements. But make sure that you're using one of those platforms and that you're following those instructions for your platform. The next step is we're going to jump to page 7, which is the success, uh, SuccessNet Plus for Internet Explorer users we need to add trusted sites and, and set a security level. Following the directions, I'm going to go to Tools, Internet Options, click on the wheel, Internet Options. On the Security tab, right here, I need to select some trusted sites. There's a big green check mark for trusted sites. Drag the slider to set the security level to medium low or low. Mine's already on medium low. If yours is higher than that, please drag it down to medium low. You might want to test that. If it's not working, you might want to drag it down to low. It should work at medium low. If you are using Windows Vista, make sure you uncheck Enable Protected Mode. Now, we need to click Sites right here. We need to add some trusted sites. Make sure that you uncheck this box. It says Require Server Verification. Make sure this box is unchecked. You do not need to require Server Verification. We need to add those three websites here. By default, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go to my Word document. My first site, I'm going to copy and paste and add that site. Back to my Word document, copy. Paste and add that site. Again, back to my Word document. Copy. Paste. And add that site. Once you've add the, added the three sites, you can press Close. Select OK. And we're moving on to the next step. 
Add privacy sites. It says it's a if app applicable. I'm going to go ahead and lead you through this tutorial. Click Tools. Go to Internet Options. On the Privacy tab right here, we're going to click Sites. In the site box, we might want to add those three sites and select OK. So I'm going to go between my Word document again. Copy. Paste. And we're going to say Allow. Not Block. Allow. Going to my Word document. Copying. Pasting and allowing this site. And then finally, the last option, copy, paste, and make sure you choose allow the site. Select OK. Select OK. And we're on to the last page of our tutorial. Add content advisor sites. Go to Tools, Internet Options, on the Content tab, click Enable right here under Content Advisor. A new box pops up. Click the Approved Sites tab right here and we need to add those three sites again. Going to my Word document. Copy. Paste. And you want to select Always. These will always be viewable. Go to my Word document. Copy, paste, select always to the third site, copy, paste, always, select apply. Anytime you see apply next to the OK, please select apply. OK. And in my case, my content advisor, because, because of the way we are set up at the school district, I am unable to do this. You will be able to do this. Please select OK. And that should solve all of your problems with SuccessNet Plus.